Hey guys, it has been a while. I am currently in Minecraft. I am actually on uh, Super Hostile Online, which, uh, if you're not familiar with it, is a Patreon server that is set up by mapmaker and YouTuber Vex, who uh, makes really good maps, and especially Super Hostile Online is like the thing I've been doing in all, all, pretty much all my spare time when I'm not working. That's That's what I do. I've been playing on here for so long, I've got some really good gear, and um, yeah, I'm, I think I'm just going to head out to do some dungeons today, and just, well, record them, because I think it's it's a lot of fun to be, to be on here, so uh, to actually explain something about the world we're in right now, this is Valgard City, the main hub of uh, Super Hostile Online, this is where all your shops are, um... Basically, enemies drop custom things. They mainly drop uh, a lot of gold that you want, so you can buy more things. Um, and there is also a uh, a class system uh, where basically uh, every ten levels you uh, you get a uh, an upgrade to uh, to your character. Um, right now, I am a uh, rank eight defender. Which gives me a lot of health, as you can see, which is also held by this shield that I have, uh, which is a, a, an item we're going to see so, at some point. We're going to pick one up. Um, and basically, uh, but, well, that, that shield increases my maximum amount of health by 25%. Uh, there's a lot of custom gear. It's really fun. Uh, every monster has custom drops, some really rare, which is really cool. So uh, we're just on our way to... Um, to the first dungeon here. This place, uh, this beautiful area right here is uh, is the Eastern Commons. Uh, it is basically the place where you go to farm stuff. Uh, the server has a lot of similarities to like an MMO where uh, you play with a bunch of people, you tackle dungeons together. Uh, today I'll probably just be by myself. There's a Discord that people hang out in but uh, my my plan for today is just to do it by myself, unless we just run into people in the dungeon. I mean, the, <laughs> that is isn't that is a possibility, of course. But uh, yeah, this I've been playing on Super Hostile Online for like uh, I think about two months. Oh, something died here. Got some drops. This uh, well, I think it's actually across the bridge. This area is actually uh my favorite grinding spot because. Uh, there's a lot of cave spiders around here, around here, and while they are dangerous, and I just fell. That was very smart of me. Um, <laughs> I was gonna go across the bridge, but I couldn't make the jump. I'm used to having more speed. I'm actually not used to being a defender anymore. I usually, I usually pick scout, which gives you a lot of movement speed and, uh, attack speed, which is really nice. So, it's a little bit weird for me to be playing as a defender, but that's because the dungeon we're going to uh, actually is easier as a defender, in my opinion. Or at least one of the dungeons is. The third dungeon I find to be easier as a defender. This over here is the cave I was talking about. A lot of cave spiders spawn in there. You can see some skittering around in there. And they drop, uh, they drop steak, or they drop spider meat, which in the canon of this world is, uh, you can cook into steak. We're eating spiders, basically. So yeah, we're almost, uh, coming up on the first dungeon here. It is right across this bridge. This world actually changed a lot from, uh, this is actually like the 3.0 version. Uh, in 2.0, um... Everything was, all the enemies were natural spawns here, and it used to get pretty crowded. Now everything is custom spawned by spawners, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. I don't know if you noticed, but that actually made me jump. I usually don't get surprised like that. I Just as I was talking about the spawners, I get spawned on. So uh, this area right here um, is the uh, the ruined library. Um, which leads to the Old Kingdom, uh, which is basically the first three dungeons. Ba there are basically dungeons, uh, your goal in every dungeon, welcome to the Draconic Osterer, by the way. Uh, every dungeon, 
this room just looks really cool. And I keep, I keep going, I keep losing what I'm trying to say. But every dungeon has, uh, as its end goal, to get a piece of wool. Uh, it's basically an, uh, a glowy piece of wool. Um, if you're familiar with um, with the uh, uh, complete the monument style of maps, it's basically like that, except. Um, well, there's no monument really, unless you make a monument like I did. There is not really. Why did I go this way? I mean, I, we we could go this way. We could see if we could get the random loot chest. I probably won't. If I failed, yeah, that's not gonna happen. I was gonna say if I fail this, I'm gonna not gonna. Basically, if you can make it up there, there is a path that leads to a chest that has randomly respawning loot that spawns throughout the day, or that respawns throughout the day. Which is pretty neat. But, uh, yeah. I, I've never really gotten anything useful out of it. Usually when I go there, it's just been looted and the chest's empty. So this main room right here spawns some custom enemies. And I'm gonna try to avoid them as much as I can. I mean, I can take a beating. Oh. We have, uh... <laughs> Well, like I said, I was gonna do this on my own, but, uh, yeah, Sindela is apparently running the dungeon, this this particular dungeon, uh, by herself, uh, or she's been running it by herself for a while. This jump is actually something you can make if you're, uh, if you're a scout, which I'm not right now, so I can't make that jump, I can't take a shortcut. That ladder up there is where we want to go, but there is something else that I want to get. If it doesn't kill me, and it might kill me, I hope not. Uh, this world actually has something called a dojo. It is an area where you get where you get uh, where you get some cool loot. You can do one dojo and then you get fatigue, and then you basically. I should probably. Ooh, I'm not the best at parkour. <laughs> That's really scary. Um, take a screenshot of that. Um, Basically, the dojo has loot that spawns if you don't have fatigue and you can get stuff from it. This is the ossuary charm, which before this shield was a thing, it was pretty much the thing you wanted to have in your offhand. Uh, I'll take the bricks and the white stained glass, I guess. Yeah, this thing is really nice. It, gets some, it gives you some really nice uh, buffs. Uh, but the shield is pretty much better in any way. I can show you what it what it's like. <laughs> kind of a spoiler for one of the later areas, but uh, yeah, that is what I what I am using. This area scares me so much. <laughs> I'm always afraid that I'm gonna jump in the lava, but I forget I'm not a scout right now. Which, as a scout, that is really hard because you just move so fast. So let's get out of here. Um, there's a bunch of archers that spawn in here. Here that there they come. Normally they are quite they can pose quite a problem, but uh since we're such a high rank defender, they shouldn't eh, You get out of here. I'm Oh. Oh that's a <laughs> that's a problem. I didn't bring any arrows. That's kinda dumb of me. I'm you I'm so used to being a scout where having arrows is not an issue because having a class and you might have noticed the two potions on my bar right there uh, basically every day at dawn and dusk every class gets respawning buffs uh, for me right now as a defender it's two uh, two regeneration potions as a scout you actually get uh, speed potions and a bunch of uh, arrows that have a withering effect on them. And because of that, because I get arrows, usually every every dawn and dusk, I don't think to bring any arrows with me. I'm surprised I haven't screwed up any parkour yet. <laughs> and I should eat. Keeping track of all of that in your head and while you're recording is really hard. Usually I'm I can focus, but right now I'm well, there we go. <laughs> screw them up, screw them up screwing up parkour and talking, apparently. Uh, let me actually meet you back over there, because that's kind of annoying to get to. 
Okay, I think this is just about where we were. Gotta be careful on this corner because some enemies can spawn over there. Like just in that corner, so not gonna hang around there for too long. Alright, so we made it over there. Over there is the, the fleecy box, as it's known as, which is the place where we get the wool. I almost I almost just like missed that. Uh, can I make it? Yeah, I can. And that gives us our white wool, which completes this dungeon. Um, I think I'm actually going to head back to town because there's a dojo in the next dungeon. Uh, just like this dungeon had a dojo, every single do do dungeon has a dojo in it. But you can only do one um, and then you get fatigue and you have to rest at the inn. So uh, there is actually a way to go forward. Um, I don't know if I can show it right now. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Well, you're dead at least. You dropped a golden apple, that's nice. Golden apples and golden carrots are so nice to have because the golden apples give you regen, which if you're in a pinch, that can be really good, and the golden carrots have the best saturation value of any food. And as long as you've got saturation, your health refills very fast, so... I'm just gonna go jump in this hole, which, uh... This is gonna lead us back to ta Where are they shooting me from? Okay, seriously, right now. Are they seriously shooting me from up there? That's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, this hole will actually lead us back to town. Um, I'm kind of thinking about just turning this into, like, a series of some sort. I haven't done a series in so long, but... I think I'm just gonna, like, run a dungeon a day or something. I don't know. And we found Cinderella again. I don't know what she's doing down here. Hi. Oh, hi. I can't type. Recording a... I really can't type. Recording a dungeon. A dungeon run. So from here, from the sewers, we can actually head back to town. We There's a way over here. We can take... And let's see if I can do this without hitting the cobweb at the bottom. I can. And we're back in Falgard City. So we can actually make it out of the sewers. This place is kind of... There's... Yeah, there's those guys over here. They're lootless cave spiders, which is kind of annoying. I'm not sure if I... Well, let's just fight it. Oh, it doesn't say it's lootless anymore. It used to. I don't know if that's changed or something. And now we're poisoned. Yeah, it doesn't say they're lootless anymore, but... Oh, now it does. Their name tag is just being weird. They just drop rotten flesh, which is completely useless. Rotten flesh was actually, like, the basically the travel food source of uh, Super Hostile Online 2.0. But... The drops in 3.0 are so much better. You get so much better... The, the food you the food drops you get are so much better and basically the dojos uh, tend to give you a lot of steak so I pretty much never run out of food I don't even like bother taking food that enemies drop with me anymore because it's there's just no point <laughs> I might actually go scout for the next uh, for the next dungeon because uh, the next dungeon mm, it's nice to go fast I think. And I didn't really need to be defender, right? Well, I kind of needed to be defender to do the dojo in the white wool dungeon because I don't like doing the dojo with scout. Uh, we'll go scout for the next episode so you can see what that's like. Uh, I should probably like drop my uh, my stuff off here that I got. Now oh, we got a helmet, which is. Useless on SHO because we have the class hats. You don't use helmets on here. Uh, drop some other stuff off. So yeah, um, I'll see you next time, I think. Uh, if this becomes a regular thing when we tackle the yellow dungeon. So, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.